Happy Thanksgiving, Karen. I am looking forward to seeing your family later for dinner in the suburbs. Are you excited about our upcoming annual Christmas party we concocted 18 years ago? Oh yes, David. I am so looking forward to this event. And you, are you excited? No. The end. What? That's your response to the Christmas party? You can't disguise your sarcasm any better? No, because every year I'm the one that does all the decorating, cleaning and cooking and all you do is buy bear you stupid bohemian. Come on, I help out. Yeah, your major contribution is deciding how many 12 packs of light bear to buy. Well, I still think we should have the party. Except for that one year Emily got sick and maybe one other we've had quite a run. Do you think Jim and Mindy will make it this year? If Blue Rodeo plays or we host their ski club meeting that night then maybe, otherwise they will extend their streak of never. Callahan has been a difficult recruit ever since that man taking a crap in zero degree weather outside our condominium on Buckingham asked him for toilet paper. I hear Beagle is having his annual It's a Wonderful Life party once again on the same night. That should ensure Brent and Gay will come to our party afterwards and watch the sunrise, maybe with Mike Moran too. I don't get it, isn't once enough to see that cry baby George Bailey whining about Bedford Falls and then asking the entire world to bail him out? Potter had it right, George made too many risky loans and now we all have to pay for it. Man, you are bitter. How you can misconstrue a movie about a person's relevance in the world to some financial derivative is beyond me. Why don't you? Oh, I get it, let's live in some fairyland and wait for Zeus's petals and bells ringing. What about the food? Every year we seem to run out. You said that Ross could bring another deli tray package. Last year the leftovers supplied Joe Finley's cookie party the day after and the chopped liver alone kept the neighbors full until New Year's. We have enough firewood and Christmas music, courtesy of Ty. If I hear Johnny Cash one more Christmas I'm going to choke someone, and you better figure out you have to open the flue before starting the fire. It is sad, you did this not once but twice two years ago. Hope you had fun meeting all the firemen traipsing through our house with pickaxes. I'm hoping Bove will make it this year. With his badgers in the Rose Bowl I bet he has a brand new red sweater he'd like to show off. The Sharkos, Wisniewski's, Pooch and Nellie's and Folgers have been dependable but the Forans have really fallen off the face of the earth. I never knew kids played softball games so late on Saturday nights in the middle of winter. And it would be nice to see our house taken over again by all those kids. So the party is on? I guess so, as long as you clean your office beforehand. Yes.